your boy, Hi Beast Dan, and we back with another video. You know I'm rocking y'all here, rocking me. Hey gang, like the video right now, bro. Like the video right now, bro. I stay giving me a free game, y'all give me free game by liking the video. Today's video topic is gonna be about things you never ask a female, right? When you younger, 16, 17, 18, these questions might slide, but the older you get, like 21 plus, this shit is gonna turn girls off immediately. This shit just screams, I'm insecure, I'm weak, I don't get no bitches, and you the baddest thing on earth, and you the best I can get, you know what I'm saying? Don't fucking ask these girls these questions, bro. I'm telling you, you're gonna fuck things up for yourself. But let's get into it. No more talking. Number one, do you got a man or do you got a boyfriend? You probably met a girl at a bar or you probably seen her in person. You go up to her, hey, do you got a boyfriend? Why are you asking dumb, unnecessary questions, my nigga? Why the fuck does that concern you, bro? What you guys got to realize is, right, in most relationships, the female cheats on a nigga or knows who's next before actually leaving a nigga. So what if she's in a relationship and it's toxic and she's ready to leave a nigga? Now, by you going up to her, asking her, oh, do you got a boyfriend? You're ruining this shit. Now she's thinking like, damn, I got a boyfriend. This dude is cute. He do got money by the way he's dressed, his car he pulled up in and shit. Should I cheat? Mm, nah, now that guilty conscience is going to kick in, my nigga. You fuck shit up for yourself. And when you do this, right, you're putting her in a sticky, forceful situation. Now she's thinking like, damn, I got to decide right now if I'm going to cheat or stay loyal. And most of the time, they're not going to fucking cheat. Unless you're really that dude. You know, you got a nice haircut, you're wearing earrings, or you got some nice chains and nice watch sign, and you're really in shape. You really got to be fucking him. You know what I'm saying? Now you're probably wondering, what can I do instead? Let's say you see a girl in a club and she look mad or something. Like, yo, why you mad, bro? Pick your chin up. Look where you at. You're supposed to be having a good time. Make her laugh a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, what's up? You from around here? Oh, now nah, I'm from this town 30 minutes away, but I come here on the weekends with my friends. Where, where are you looking nice today? You could validate the bitch. If you really him, bro, you could validate the bitch. But keep it simple. Like, where are you looking nice today? That's a nice dress. Don't call her pretty. Compliment something on her. Her sneakers, her shoes, something like that. Or go up to her and be like, what's up? I'm Aaron. And if she likes you, she gonna lie, I'm asking, and she gonna shake your hand. That's from my experience, you know what I'm saying? When girls are respectful and raised right, you know what I'm saying? When you take it from there, be like, word, you got Instagram, I get out of here real quick or something like that. Or you can even ask for a number. And she'll be like, nah, I don't got my number. Be like, ah, it's cool, I don't want your Instagram, you keep it. And then she really think you look good, she'll be like, okay, here, you got my number. <laughs> it's all about confidence, bro. But also, if she got a boyfriend, nine out of 10, she'll give you her Snapchat or her Instagram if she got a lot of followers, right? Because if you think about it, right? If she got a lot of followers on Instagram, if you do follow her that night, her boyfriend ain't really gonna notice. If she got like fucking 5,000 followers or something like that. But now she's a girl with like 300 followers on Instagram. She ain't gonna give you her Instagram because it's noticeable. She might give you her number. And if you text her the next day or something like that, she's gonna put you on D&D. &D, you know what I'm saying? So he'll never know. Because girls are very smart when it comes to fucking cheating. So yeah, when it comes to the cheating shit, girls are top two, bro. They clean up game is fire. Yeah, like for instance, right? I matched with this girl on Facebook dating last Tuesday, right? And I told her, I'm like, you trying to talk on the phone tonight? Messed her like at 9.30. She replied like 10.30. Oh, I'm at dinner with a friend. I'm like, okay, red flag. Dinner with a friend on a Tuesday probably with her baby father or husband, right? So the next day, she tried to randomly FaceTime me on Wednesday at 6 p.m. I didn't answer because I was busy. I was in the boxing gym, right? And then the same thing on Thursday. FaceTime me again at 6, the same time. I answered this time. She's in a car with one of her kids. She got she got two kids because I seen her on her Facebook dating profile, right? And I'm like, what's up? We talking randomly. I'm like, why are you FaceTime me in the car? Well, Snapchat video call. Mind you, her son is in the back. I see the nigga clearly, right? I'm like, yo, why are you calling me now in the car? She's like, oh, I'm trying to call you before I get home. My two-year-old daughter don't start acting crazy when you got on the phone. So I'm like, that's a fucking red flag. You got one of your kids in the back, your other kid's at home. Who's watching the other kid? <laughs> fucking got him. You can't play a nigga like me. I see through all the bullshit. But guess what? I'm still talking to her today, and that's that. When I come back to town, I'm going to, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, man, stop asking me they got boyfriends, husbands, and all that irrelevant bullshit. Don't fucking matter. Number two, is it big? You might be fucking a girl, but like, do you like it? Is it big? How was it? Or you probably sent her a dick pic. Is it big? Why are you asking this shit, bro? You look insecure. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. We all victims to this shit, bro. I done asked the girl a few times back when I was like 15, 16, when I wasn't fully developed. And you know what the bitch told me? It was the perfect size. Oh my, like, bro. That shit killed me, bro. Just vibe. Do what you do. And don't ask that shit. And matter of fact, she ain't even gonna tell you the true answer, bro. She gonna be like, oh yeah, it's the perfect size. It's big, this and that to impress you, bro. Because she don't want to make you feel bad, bro. She want to protect your feelings. Motherfucker, if you gotta ask this shit, you know it's fucking small. You fucking know deep down it's small, motherfucker. Just go on Google, type average ding dong size. And if your shit five or six, <laughs> you know, you're on the smaller, you know, spectrum. But, you know, I'm black, so I don't got the issue, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, don't ask this shit, dog. Put it like this, bro. If you're doing yeah, yeah with a female and you don't feel that thing at the end, you know what I'm talking about? The thing at the end you feel when you deep, your shit is small, bro. Cause I tell you right now, every girl I fucking hit. I feel the cervix, bro. That's how you fucking know if you smaller bit when you're hitting that cervix. That little thing that tickle your pee hole when you, yeah, yeah. The next thing is, right, and there's going to be a few questions. I'm going to just corroborate them together, right? When I'm going to see you, you probably went on a date with a girl. She probably went home. 
and you text her, oh, I had a good time when I'm going to see you again. You're doing way too fucking much. You're basically validating the hoe. You let her know that you have too much interest. What do I tell you all the time? We in the game of keeping girls on edge. We sending them mixed signals. They're not giving us mixed signals. After the first date, I don't want to text the bitch. Did you get home safe? None of that shit, bro. She's a dope. She should be asking me this shit. Matter of fact, all the time, right? When I have a successful first date, I don't text the girl when I get home. But when they really fuck me, they always text me, hey, did you get home safe? I was worried. And then she might text me the next day on some regular shit. Then the next day she's going to ask me, hey, when I'm going to see you again? I ain't asking that shit, though. When you ask a girl when I'm going to see you again, you let her know you all about her. And like I say all the time, when a girl knows you have high interest, that's when they start doing all that funky dumb shit. When I start pulling back, when I start playing with you. No, bitch, you on my program. I'm not on your program. You running on my timing, not vice versa. Oh, especially with a real pretty bitch. After I chill with her, the first time I put on ice for a little bit. Three days, a week, probably two weeks. And then she texts me back like, hey, how you been? It's been a long time when I'm going to see you. Because she's not used to niggas rejecting her, bro. So it kills her ego. It's like, damn, I invested my time in him. And now he's pulling back. It's a bad investment. So now I'm going to chase this shit. It's like a bad investor. <laughs> That's why girls chase the ass when they complain like, oh, the data game is fucked up, this and that. Because they want niggas to chase them, bro. That's why me personally, I treat a 10 like a 5 and I treat a 5 like a 10. You know why? Because the 10s, they be acting pretty. They be acting like they're they like they the shit. They got a big ego. But the 5, she humble. When she chill with you, she going to munch, munch, munch. She not complaining. And she treating you like a fucking king. But guys, don't get in a bad habit of chilling with 5, 6, or 7s, bro. Always aim for the fucking 8s, 9s, and 10s. A 7 minimum. Because when you get in the habit of chilling with ugly bitches, right? You're building false confidence, right? You're macho man, right? You're nonchalant. You're chilling with her. You don't give a fuck. You're barely kissing her or touching her, right? You know, you're ignoring her text messages. You're not worrying about it, right? You're the fucking man. And then when you meet that fucking 10, you're looking at your phone like, damn, the bitch ain't texting me. What the fuck? She left me undelivered, but she watched my story. Hmm. Let me act busy. Did she text me? Fuck. The next thing is, what is your body count? Bruh, a girl's never going to tell you, bro. If she's 17, 18 plus in America, she got bodies, bruh. On some Ted Bundy shit. She might tell you it's two or three, the famous two or three. Multiply by three minimum. So that's nine to 15 off rip if she's 16, 17, 18. But the thing is, right, who gives a fuck? If she ain't fuck your homies, she ain't get trains ran on her and shit like that, you, you can still talk to the bitch, bro. Ain't nothing wrong with that, bruh. Or date out of town bitches if you care so much about her body count. But a bitch never gonna tell you. And let me tell you one thing, bruh, from my experience, right? I've been with 52 girls in my life, right? I'm talking about, yeah, yeah, with 52 girls, right? The most innocent looking girls be the hoes, bruh. You know the homebodies? Yeah, she's catching all her bodies at home, all right? 10 o'clock at night, niggas is picking her up, banging her in the park, and then dropping her off. Don't be fucking fooled, bro. Look at Lana Rhodes. Look at this picture of Lana Rhodes. Look innocent as fuck, right? Nice, cute white girl. Fucking porn star ran through over a thousand bodies. That's why you never judge a book by its fucking cover. But yeah, man, don't even waste your time trying to beat yourself in the head trying to figure that shit out, bro. You will never fucking know. Because a girl knows her worth to a man is based on impurity. So she's going to always lie to you, 9 out of 10. As long as she ain't on OnlyFans, she ain't no stripper, she ain't a bottle girl, she don't work in the service industry, she not a, uh, what do you call it, a bartender. She ain't got trains ran on her, she's not a porn star, and she ain't fucking on your homies, you good, bro, stop being insecure. Next thing is, did you cheat on me, or why did you cheat on me? If you think your girl's cheating on you, you got no fucking proof, and that shit is eating you alive, go through a fucking phone when she's sleeping. And if you do catch her cheating on you, don't question her, don't argue with her, just grab your nuts and leave the relationship, my nigga. A real nigga like me, we ain't staying with a bitch cheating on us, bro. If you stay with a bitch cheating on you, right? What you're essentially saying is, you're the best thing on earth, and you're the best I can get. There's four billion girls on earth, but you staying with a bitch who cheating on you. Guys, when a girl cheat on you, right? She don't respect you no more, and she sees you as a fucking weak male. Guys, you gotta have some type of worth to yourself, bro. The same way you value this bitch, bro, value your fucking self. Put yourself first. When a girl cheats on you, bro, she sees you as a weak male, bro. The respect is gone. She will never fully respect you again, bro. It slipped out. She put it back in, bro. Matter of fact, she put it in for him, bro. She was moaning for this nigga, bro. This nigga senior bitch. <laughs> Your greatest power as a man is walking away from a bitch. So let's say a girl cheating on you, bro. Break up with her instantly. No contact. She gonna be chasing you. I'm sorry. I would do anything to save the relationship. No, nigga, don't get back with her, bro. And if you do, you a bitch. Look in the mirror and say, I'm a bitch. Matter of fact, if your girl cheating on you when you're watching this video and you with her, look in the mirror and say, I'm a bitch. I don't care about myself. I got no balls and I'm a weak motherfucker. And she's going to keep cheating on me. Oh, because she's going to do it again. But yeah, that's all today, man. Don't ever ask to check these questions ever. You're going to turn them off. You're going to look weak and insecure. And a female can't stand a weak nigga. You get what I'm saying? But yeah, like, comment, subscribe for the algorithm. Like, comment, subscribe for the algorithm. Comment video ideas I want to talk about. And hype beast. Oh!